third attempt at this today. Uh, big Professor G, George Genghis, gave me a nice video feedback on my first video. My bad. This is what I'm talking about. So if I put this football here, this is what I did a long time ago. If you pointed that at the ball, that's the same thing as putting my shallow one in, turning that line up. Does it make sense? That's why I like it, okay? Much more convenient. Now, the thing is, is if I don't have my face square to, like it's too open and I do that, dead, okay? So I get a little bit more closed up top, more flat to bowed, then I can point it at the ball. But if I start coming down with my hand pat, the elbow split and it starts to stand up. So it's not just with the arms out pointing at it, but it's actually using the body getting square by here. So if you put those together and you just go up top and freeze it and go that way, that's a good way to do it slow, okay? And I realized something. He noticed correctly that even though I'm doing all this effort, I'm still cupped with my left wrist. And I, here's what I think is flexing the left wrist. No, that's, that's radial deviation to really flex the left wrist. Watch what happens to this club head. That's what happens when you really flex the left wrist, okay? So let's just do this. Truly flex. <laughs> Much different, <laughs> see? So, after 40 years, you know, playing wrong, I was afraid to properly do that. So watch it. Looking to the right, that's another Genghis tip. It can freeze you up. If you look in a mirror, if you look, watch the club, 